Today, we're going to be breaking down how I created this crazy 3D motion track Polaroid effect and put videos inside your Polaroids. It's fire. And if you guys don't know already, I'm going to be uploading every single day for the month of May. So right now it is May 3rd. So expect 28 more uploads for the month of May. We also got a new editing pack coming soon, the V3 for the fast movement effects. But let's hop right into this. In Premiere Pro here, we have our music video pulled up. We're going to be using the Glaive as if music video. Now in After Effects here, we have our two scenes that we're going to be adding the motion track Polaroids to. This one has a tiny bit of camera movement and then this one here is on a tripod so we're not going to have to motion track this one here and for this effect we're going to be using my polaroid effects pack which i highly recommend you guys go check out but if you guys do not want to go buy a pack you can get polaroids on google images for free they're just not going to be as high quality so you can either open up the polaroid effects pack in photoshop here where you can go through and look at each polaroid and then put your image in between it and the texture we have here or what you can do is just open up the files right here and drag and drop them inside of after effects which we're going to do here because it's a little bit easier so if we drag and drop the classic two in here what we could then do is press s in our keyboard and scale it down and now what we're going to do next is we're going to look for a clip in the video that we want to put inside of the polaroid so i'm going to cut this clip out right here and then replace it with an After Effects composition. And then doing that, it's going to bring this clip inside of After Effects here. We're going to press Control C on it, and then pressing Control V, we're going to paste it inside of this composition. We're going to bring up below the Polaroid, press S, and then scale it down and move it as we want it. I'm going to put it about here. And now we're going to crop the edges by going ahead and putting a crop on this video clip right here. You want to go ahead and delete the top crop edges here. We're going to crop the left and then the right here, and boom, we have that scaled in perfectly. Now what we're going to do next is pre-compose both of these together by by holding control, clicking on them, right clicking, and then hitting pre-compose. Make sure you have move all attributes into the new composition check and adjust composition duration. Now we're going to press control alt D and crop our composition this clip. And then this 3D box right here, we're going to check this. If you guys don't see this, make sure you hit toggle switches and modes here. So clicking this will make it a 3D layer and then clicking this one right here will give it motion blur. Now what we can do is dropping down transform again. We can play with the rotations to give it a cool angle on the effect. So I'm going to put it just like this and then playing with the position I'm going to move it to the side just like that. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to keyframe the position and then the three rotations here. And then I'm going to go to the end of the clip and I'm going to play around with the rotations a little bit just to give it some movement. We'll have an effect just, just like that. As you can see, the video is playing inside of the Polaroid. Super clean. Now we can make it a little bit cleaner by either adding motion blur to the background or motion blur to the foreground. I'm going to go for a little bit of a different look here by putting motion blur on both of them. It's going to go out of focus from the Polaroid to the background and vice versa, whatever you guys want to do. So let's say, for example, we set focus to the background here and then we're going to blur the polaroid by about 10 there and what we'll do is we'll keyframe the blur on both of them and then when it gets to let's say halfway for example we'll switch it we'll make sure the background goes to 10 and the polaroid goes to zero and then we'll get an effect like this whereas the background goes into focus and boom the polaroid goes into focus just like that now moving on to the next one here like i said earlier this one has a little bit of motion to it so to start off what we're going to do is click on the clip right here right click and we're going to track and stabilize it and we're going to track the camera now to keep in mind a tip for camera tracking is we want to drop down the advanced tab here and pay attention to the average error so the average error is above one going past two is kind of bad so this is pretty good here what we can do is highlight all of these by clicking and dragging and then creating a null in camera now what we're going to do next is we're going to drag and drop a different polaroid inside of here from our polaroid pack i'm going to go with the rounded edges one here with the date pressing s and dragging this down we could scale it and then same thing as last time i'm going to go inside the music video and look for another piece of b-roll that we can use here that's pretty clean there and then exact same thing as last time we're going to scale it down and fit it inside of the polaroid recompose it turn on the 3d layer and turn on the motion blur we want to make sure it's actually tracked with the scene which it's tracked really well. I actually really like the way that's looking there. Now we're going to go ahead and play with the rotation just like last time. We're going to give it a cool look. And then what we can do as well is we're going to put another one in. I'm going to go with the classic dirtier for this one. Literally the exact same thing as last time. You're just going to keep on replicating that by putting it inside the Polaroid, resizing it as you want it, cropping the edges, transforming it. And then this time we're going to play with the orientation just like that. And then this one does most definitely need camera lens blur. Putting that on there, we can give it a little bit of a blur. And then I think we can give the other one camera lens blur as well, which is not as much. We can give it like two. If we play that through there super sick i'm loving the way this is looking this is such a fire effect using your videos especially when you put videos inside the polaroids it's just so clean i love the way this looks if you guys want to see more tutorials just like this make sure to subscribe and go check out the polaroid pack as well it's linked in the description below like i said earlier i'm going to be uploading every single day this month so you do not want to miss out thank you guys so much for watching peace